It's the most wonderful time of the year. Okay, I cannot sing to save my life, but I'm excited because my box came from Premiere, and I'm going to crack it open and get out our new deck chair for the sheep. So I'll show you how to get it set up, and we'll see if it really works as easily as their videos show us online. So stay tuned. I've had this chair on my wish list for a while, so I'm excited. Uh, the videos that Premiere had, get it out of here. Go. Uh, showed it going together really easy. So basically it's something that'll hook over the fence. And then I can back use up to it and they can sit down in it and it will make trimming feet and giving back these a lot easier, which is what I'm going to try to do. So let's see what's in the box. Ooh, handy dandy instructions. Might need those. to do it. It suggests setting it up in the corner of a pen, which is what I'm going to do, so I don't have to run this sheep around the pen to catch it. I'm going to put it at a 45 degree angle. Then I'm going to catch the sheep by the head and just back it up to the chair. And then to unload, I'm just going to tilt it off. So, that's how it says it'll work. Let's see how it goes. Alright, these girls are going to be my first group to give the chair uh, trial run. So I have the chair set up over this gate. It's at about 45 degrees. Theoretically, I should just back the U up to the chair and flip her over. And while she's in there, I'm going to do a few different things. Um, I have a CD and T shot in here that I'm going to give. I have a Campylobacter vaccine for anti-abortion that's safe to give anytime during gestation. And then I have some foot shears, some foot spray. I use Footmaster if I need it. I also have a little bit of Draxin in here. So if I run into any foot problems or respiratory stuff, I can just give them a shot while they're in here. So that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to swing this gate over here and pin them to the back half. So it's a little bit smaller space to work in. All right, I got them pinned to the back half so it should be easier to catch them. Uh, the pink lines that you see on their backs these were ultrasounded a couple weeks ago, so the pink line just signifies that they were confirmed. I'm going to give them a green line today down their back so that I know that I've done their feet and given them all their shots. Uh, so I guess we're ready to give it a go. This is cozy. <laughs> Not too bad getting her in here. I think I need to change the angle on my chair. So I'm going to drop it down a bar. 
And maybe that'll help her set a little bit more. Let's try this angle. Also try a smaller sheep to start with, perhaps. Hey girl. 8009 Europe. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to get some footage here of trimming her hoof up close. Get her foot up here. Oh, let me move my camera a little bit. You see your front foot right here? The edges start to grow over. All of that needs to come off, so that's what I'm gonna trim. I'm gonna use these foot trimmers. I like to get the smooth, flat edge right on the inside. Just snip that off. Same on the other side of the hoof. Just like that, and that looks a lot better. We got our sample adapter. That's five cc's. Every year, and that's gonna be two CCs. And this is gonna go subcutaneous, also. So I'm just gonna give that on the other side. We got that there. So I trimmed her feet, I gave her both of those vaccines. She's ready to go. So I'm gonna flip her out and mark her with green so I know that I did that. Flip her out. I just need to pull on this. She's out. Green line on her back. Got it set up for the next one. I made my way through that pen, so I wanted to give a little bit of review as to what I thought of the deck chair. Obviously, I'm sitting in it right now, so it's pretty comfy. So, I will say that it made trimming feet a lot easier. I didn't have to twist my body around as much to get up to the feet. I even caught a ewe that had a little bit of foot rot going on that I didn't know about. She wasn't showing any symptoms. So, if I wouldn't have had her flipped over like that, I'm not sure I would have caught that. So, that was definitely a plus. If I was just giving vaccines, I don't know that I would mess with the chair and catching them and flipping them over I don't think it'd be worth it but for something like this where I was trying to give shots was trying to check feet it definitely saved a lot of um I guess stress on me so it took a little bit more to get the use in but in the end I would say it was worth it so in full disclosure Premier One Supplies did not sponsor this video they did not provide the chair for me to use though It'd be a lot cooler if they did. Uh, so it was just something that I invested in. About $125. I would recommend the purchase for somebody that had a lot of use. Somebody that wasn't comfortable like me. Getting them flipped over on their butts um, as I went. Definitely uh, had some merit there. So hope you enjoyed this uh, unsolicited review of the Premier One Supplies deck chair. And thanks for watching.